Hello again, students. Um, this is a continuation of our <clears throat> our home design project, the one that you are uh, designing on your own, or uh, this might be just where some of you are just now beginning. Uh, but you know, it's kind of a continuation. We did the uh, the first uh, home design, and uh, that was the one where you copied me basically, and we got it to a really basic level, and then of course. Um, from that level you you stop and you go into doing your own design and follow the um, the more advanced videos in Schoology uh, which you'll need those to complete your own design and to get more um, you know into it get your design a little bit further along so which of course by now if you're listening to this video you've already seen the other videos and you know exactly what to do so anyway um, <clears throat> just kind of starting from a uh, long pause here, I guess. Uh, this is not the original house that I was using to uh, demonstrate the design with. That one is on another computer at um, at school. And as, of course, all of you know, we can't be at school right now uh, because of the, uh, the coronavirus. Okay. But uh, this is another house that I had designed, um, and, and it's not finished. I uh, took this from a friend of mine's house. I really kind of liked the way um, that uh, he, he, you would come in the front door and you'd have this big foyer area. There was a section over here to put shoes and everything. And over here, too, you could do the same thing. I think I want to say they had uh, some kind of a table or something. I know they had a table here uh, that had some things sitting on it. And then, of course, angled off to the right to get into the uh, main living area. And there are bedrooms over here on the right, too. These are minor bedrooms. And then, of course, your master bedroom over here on the left with a master bath and then the garage and all that good stuff right there. I really like this design. Um, and, of course, this would be considered what we call a track design, but not really a custom home design. Um, but a track design meant uh, built and designed to fit into a very small space, a very small lot. Um, as you can see, it is more more narrow. It's narrow from you know uh, south to west, but uh, it's longer north to south, uh, and that's mainly so that it can fit on one of those smaller lots that you typically see nowadays, um, and what have you. So. Um, you know, keep that too in mind when you're designing. You got to think of um, you know where it's going, um, and we'll we'll talk more about that in the future. We'll talk about a lot of things in the future. Um, but what I wanted to show you today is let me go to a 3D view. I'm going to look at uh, we're going to put some fascia material on the side of the roof along here. And we're also going to go back, go through and put in some soffit material, not all in this video. I think we're just going to cover the fascia in this video. Um, and to do that, one of the easiest ways to do that is to, let's get a straight ahead front view of our house. And I did that just by clicking on front right here and it gave me that straight ahead front view. I'm also going to change my color to hidden line. If you're working in color, please don't do that. It's really going to slow your computer down. Um, and I'm actually going to kind of bring it over here to the side just a little bit. So the next thing I want to do, I cannot remember if, I don't think there is a fascia tool. Uh, let me see, flip print soffit. Yeah, there is a fascia tool right here. Um, and I don't remember how to use the fascia tool because a lot of times I put my own fascia design in. I'm not even sure what profile this is going to use it's going to use a 1 by 12 flat um, I'm hoping that's not too big all right so with the fascia tool um, going uh, we clicked on that fascia and now what I want to do is click on the top edge of the roof as we go around and as you see here we now have fascia you can see the little edge of it right there that I just clicked on and we see that the correct side is pointing outwards um, and this is very easy um, now sometimes like I said I do sweep kind of a custom fascia and kind of losing the view of part of my house here for some reason I think it's the uh, crop box yes it is 
you ever need to adjust this, just go down and click on this icon right here. It says hide crop region, or you can show crop region the same way. So I'm going to move that over there just a little bit. I'm going to hide the crop region again. Okay, so I just clicked on this edge. Now I'm going to just go around and click on all the edges, I think. I probably am no, I'm no longer in the fascia tool. So when I made that adjustment there, I kind of got out of the fascia tool. Uh, let's see, fascia. So let's continue clicking around the sides. And I'm starting to lose my house again there. There we go, that's better. Go back into the fascia tool. Click on this edge. All right, coming back around to the front. You know, I really hate that crop region box thing there. Used not to do that. I don't know why it's doing that now. All right, now I don't know how this acts on the uh, gabled portion of the roof. I really don't. So I'm going to try that. That was always in the past kind of a problem. Um, we'll see if it still is. And now it looks like it works good. Yeah, used to we really had a problem and um, Did I get fascia there? There we go. Okay. And there, there's still a slight problem, as you can see here. The corner kind of comes down really far. We'll see how to treat that a little bit later. We might have to go in and custom sweep that one. So I'm just going and clicking around, getting all of my fascia all the way around to here. Okay and you can see one place right here where my fascia decided to do kind of like what it's supposed to do you know come down and then kind of tuck in like that but it did not do that over here i am going to try to join geometry and see if it if it will let's see what happens if i try join geometry It does not join okay but we will fix that and I'll show you how once we get there we'll also fix this other thing over here so now the house has fascia all the way around uh, fascia material and that fascia material just hides the ends of the timbers that make up the rafters of the roof uh, if you did not have that fascia right here um, on a, a real house, not on a uh, Revit house, but on a real house, if you didn't have that fascia, then you would just see timbers, uh, the, the raw cut ends of timbers uh, sticking out. Okay, so we're good on fascia for now. Let's go in and see if we can't edit a little bit of this fascia. And to do that, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to probably draw a work plane. So I'm going to go to level one. And let's see. I want to be able to see the, the roof. So let me go to level two. See if I can see the roof from up there. And my computer is working very slowly. Okay, all right, so now I can see the roof, so I, I know where to draw that work plane. So in order to draw the work plane, I'm just going to go right here to reference plane. And I'm just going to draw a work plane right across here. It doesn't matter. I could actually draw it all the way to the other end. It wouldn't matter because it's, it's invisible. Okay, then I'm going to click right here to name it. And I'm going to call this one uh, Front West Fascia trim. I think that's how you spell fascia, right? I think I spelled it right. Okay. All right. So front west fascia trim. Let me check my spelling real quick. Yes, I did spell it right. I don't, you know, some of those things escaped me for some reason. 
All right, so I have the work plane. Now I can start doing it, go back to that 3D view. Okay, and let's get a straight up, uh, straight on view of that. It seems like it's giving me a perspective. Let's see if I can change that. Let's see when else says orthographic right here. Perspective is probably not going to change because of the way I'm looking at it. Well, there it went. It probably it just changed, but it doesn't look any different. So we'll go back to orthographic and wait for it to change. Okay, so what I need to do is somehow trim that little tail off that is on the roof. So I am going to do a model in place component model in place and I'm going to associate this model with roofs and I'm going to call it front west fascia trim just like I named the uh, plane that I'm working on And I'm going to use a void form, a void extrusion to be exact. And then all I have to do is draw the shape that I want. Oh, yeah, I need to pick, you need to set the work plane that you created earlier. You need to come in here and set it. And <clears throat> sorry, trying to talk through my allergies. There's front west fascia trim. Okay, so I'm just going to trace right along here just enough to cover it and all this work that I'm doing is invisible okay and let's see our depth is one foot which that might be perfectly fine okay and then we'll click to save that alright and now what we want to do is click on cut we have to actually go this the, go this route and uh, the, the instructions on how to use that are right down here right where the uh, the screen recording dialog is is at, but it um, you can basically select either geometry, uh, geometry to be cut, or the void geometry with geometry with which to cut. Now it's going to automatically cut out the void geometry, so it doesn't matter what order you click in, it knows what to do, and I hope that worked. Finish. It says instance of family is not cutting host and it says delete instance. Well, you know what? I'm going to click cancel and go back to that because it probably has something to do with the direction for which it is extruded. So I'm actually going to go here and change this to one foot where it says end or extrusion start, sorry. Uh, so extrusion start at zero. That's probably because it is starting right there on the plane. Extrusion end one foot. It extends one foot beyond the plane. So what? Somehow I'm not even I'm not even cutting anything. So I'm just gonna go in here and, and just type two inches. I think a negative two inches. That's what I need to do. Negative two inches. Apply. It already applied. Um, and I will click on the check mark and it cut it out. It cut out that piece of geometry. Okay. To kind of show you, I don't know if I can actually go back into that to show you what I mean. See if I can. Okay. I'm going to get a side view. So I'm going to click here and just really drastically change my view. And you really can't even see it from this. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, so here is the void. This is that invisible space, that void. And as you see, it says extrusion start zero. So it starts right here. That's right where I drew that reference plane. It was right along here. So it extends from the reference plane backwards. So I really just had to change that extrusion start to a negative two inches to get it to come this way a little bit see how it is now and of course from here you can actually just adjust everything by hand if you don't want that 
ex extrusion sticking out that far and it's probably not a good idea to leave it sticking out that far it could possibly interfere with some future uh, geometry that you place on your drawing so I'm going to click the green check mark again and again you can see where it cut the area of concern Okay, so now that looks like it is supposed to look. Okay, everything over here is good. One problem is right here. Okay, and I can fix that also by doing a an actual extrusion. And to fix that, I'm going to go to architecture, component. Oh yeah, I need to go up top again on level two, looking down and draw another reference plane. So I'm going to click on, I, I just went to the level 2 so I could see the roof from the top. Click on the reference plane. Alright, and this time of course I see the fascia. I can actually, and I think I see a problem. What is that? That is fascia. That's probably why that did not meet up. Because this, for some reason, just way overextends the distance for which it should. And I can't do anything with it from here, I don't think. Let's um, let's go to a 3D view. And then let's go to the east side of the house. And I can see what it's doing now. I mean, that's it right there. I do not know why it wants to do that. See if I can bring it, and it still is not being friendly. Okay, that's okay. We can fix the non-friendliness of that as well. Uh, let's go back around to the front to see if that changed anything on the front. Okay, so I want to bring my front back around. Okay, now it did basically what the other side did. It uh, left a tail there for us. So we'll go in first and we'll go up top, okay, on level two. And I will create another plane, so reference plane. I'm going to draw it right here on the outside of that fascia. Okay, now this is front, east, fascia trim all right I'm gonna go down to the 3d view again and go to component model in place I'm gonna associate this with roofs again okay and I'm gonna call it front I kind of keep my naming in order here east Alright, then I just need to click on void form, void extrusion. It's already in the line tool. I need to set that particular plane. So there's front east. Draw it out. Now because I was able to place the uh, plane on the opposite side of the fascia, I shouldn't have to trim anything. Or I shouldn't have to go in and adjust the size of the fascia. But let's double check and make sure. Okay, we'll see where we're at. Now let's flip around. And there's that void. See, it does cut through this time. See how it cuts right through the that fascia material? Okay, finish. Some void form does not cut anything. Okay, I don't like that. Let's uh, draw it out even further, just to make sure it cuts something. Okay, and again, kind of reduce the size of it, just in case, so it doesn't interfere with any future geometry. And for some reason, it does not want to accept that cut. Let's go back around to the front, so we can figure out why. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot there's one more step involved so um, that was cut so I had to go up here and click cut click on the fascia and then click on the void form 
and we're good now I can finish all right so now I got that trimmed up now to work with that side over here again okay you remember this piece see what we can get it to do I don't know why I don't know why it wants to do that cancel that all right what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we got to do another drawing here another plane so I'm gonna level two this time I'm going to draw a reference plane over here on this side place it right there and I'm just gonna call this east front front fascia extrusion because I'm not going to trim anything out it's going to be an extrusion okay go back to 3d all right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude a piece of trim to fill in the gap right here so all I need to do is go to oops, wrong wrong answer model in place associate this with the roofs and I'm going to call it um, east front and it's very important to name these correctly or you know name them well name them accurately uh, because once you get a couple of hundred of them on your drawing and you need to make a change or an adjustment to one you know have fun trying to find it when you just leave them all you know labeled uh, as nothing all right so I need to set the plane so front front there's east front oops I clicked on cancel why did I do that set the plane again East front, okay. All right, now I should be in the draw tool automatically. And see, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Okay. And let's see, it is going to extrude. I'll tell you what, we'll click here and then we will flip around. And it's using brick as its material. Let's let's change that. this computer is very slow okay so there's my dialogue um, do they even have a fascia listed in here yes. they do not okay I'm not sure what the regular fascia used and it would be good I can just do clad white that's what I'm gonna do clad white uh, I probably should go back and check and see what material I probably will just for giggles all right let's flip around and see how that is covering the space from this direction okay so as you see it is sticking out rather far so we just need to move it back until oops let's see let's cancel that I have to look around my computer my smaller computer screens I'm kind of using a, a big computer as you can probably see now it's sort of sticking in the camera view okay so I need to slide this in to where it matches and actually I need to slide this in too to right there and right here that way it matches the piece of fascia behind it and then we're good to go and I'm just gonna double I'm gonna click on this fascia to see what material this was and it doesn't say pull open this jobber right here just says uh, just says by category okay which will probably end up changing that because by category it might not um, we might want it to look a certain way 
all right and by category will not give us that which is basically just very generic okay so I have fascia material placed all the way around and that of course again hides those uh, fascia boards and actually I'm gonna show you another little trick this one should I should be able to join this one come on slow computer All right, so I'm going to click on the join tool. Click on the small piece of fascia that I created and click on this. It won't join probably because they're not the same material. I wonder what would happen. Well, I'm not even going to fool with it right now. I'm just going to let it go as it is. So all it's going to do is just give me that little line right there, which is no big deal. That probably won't even render out. Okay, so that is fascia material. Um, on the next video, I will show you how to do soffits, okay? Soffits, that is the material that is, you can't see it there, but it's underneath the eaves. As you see, if you go outside and look at your house, okay, you probably have what looks like a flat surface kind of going across here. It's not angled like this. It's flat going across there. So your eaves are flat, not angled. We're going to uh, make that correction here in just a moment.